Hey besties, welcome or welcome back. As part of my Christmas in July series, today we're going to do Pinterest inspired Christmas crafts. Let's get started. Why? I've got this little sign from, I think it's the Dollar Tree, it says Believe, a little ornament, reindeer, head, snowflakes, bottle brush trees, and a foam wreath, and then that white towel from the automotive section. I'm going to use my white chalk paint, and I'm going to paint all around those words, and then use this brushed metal gold paint from Folk Art to paint over the top. I just didn't like exactly the way that gold looked that was on there. I'm going to change it again anyway. And then I'm going to flock all three of these trees and get them ready to place on the wreath when we make it. And I'm going to layer my little snowflakes. I cut out the center of that white one, and you see it on the left there. I'm going to end up putting it on the back so it shows through. And I just thought that made it look even cuter. And then I'm going to take off those red berries, and I'm going to put some silver on his little bell, and then I'm going to flock his little wreath around his neck or what garland around his neck. Now I'm gonna take my foam wreath form and my little white towel and I'm gonna cut some slits in the middle and I'm gonna start hot gluing it, but I end up cutting a lot of this off until I can wrap it. I don't want it to be super bulky and bumpy, which is hard to do. Um, I could have done strips, but then it frays really bad. So I was trying to minimize the amount of fraying that would be kind of on an open end. So I'm just gonna let you watch as I cut and tuck and glue until I get it all covered kind of hard to describe how to do it so you'll see what I did I cut little like slits if you have an easier way I would definitely do that I have never covered a foam wreath like this in fabric so I'm sure that there is a better way but it worked it got the job done and that was all that I was concerned about and as long as the front looked good that's what mattered to me because it's gonna be all white no matter what there it is. I think it looks pretty good on the front. Now I'm going to make a hanger before I add anything else to it. I'm going to take some of this mop head and I'm going to cut a piece and I'm just going to hot glue it right at the top where I've decided the top is. I'm going to hot glue each of the ends and then I'm going to cut a couple pieces of the faux leather from Dollar Tree and just hot glue a little like rectangle piece to the end though so that they don't kind of start fraying apart because the mop heads do tend to do that. And plus it's white and I think it looks nice and it kind of finishes it off. What I'm going to do is turn it over and I'm going to put my little snowflakes up towards the kind of right upper side. I'm just going to hot glue that. It sticks really well to that towel. Then I'm going to start putting my little trees. I'm going to have to hold it up because I want them standing up in the center like a little scene. So once I figure that out, I will hot glue those down. And they stay really well next to each other because of the bottle brush aspect. They kind of intertwine a little bit. Then I'm going to take my reindeer ornament head and I'm going to put him on the inside like a profile. And I think that looks super cute. Now I put the third tree on and then I took it off because it was going to be blocked by my sign. So I kind of put it towards the back in between the two trees so you just see it poking up. Now I'm going to take my Believe sign because I still wasn't happy with it. I'm going to put Mod Podge all over that and I'm going to put some silver glitter on it and I think that just does the trick. It makes it look very snowy and festive and I'm not a big glitter fan but I do think that's what this one needed. So once I get that all on there I'm going to paint the back white because I hadn't done that yet and now I'm going to figure out the placement on the front of my wreath and I'm going to attach some more of that mop head to it with a really good strong uh, amount of hot glue and I'm going to put a little more of that faux leather over each of those ends to hold it in place. The same exact thing on the other side so they're both attached to the sign and then I'm going to put the sign on with hot glue and it stays very well but I have another way I'm going to secure it and I'll show you that in just one minute here. Okay, turn the wreath over and I'm going to take the remaining part of the strand of the mop head and I'm going to glue it all the way up to where the hanger is and that just really secures that sign. So I'm super happy with this you guys. It's so cute. I hope you like it. So 
saw something similar to this on Pinterest, I knew I had to make it my own version. So I've got these three pieces of scrap wood. I did cut them with my jigsaw off camera. Now they have these holes in them and I could use wood filler, but I have this little trick where I put a piece of tape on the back and then I fill it with hot glue and when it dries, I just sand off that little bump. It works so well. Anyway, I'm gonna sand them all with my um, sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree and then I'm gonna use my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I'm gonna paint all three of these pieces. And now I'm showing you where the glue was filled and you can barely even notice it. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Now I'm gonna take a little nail file from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go around every edge of these three pieces and I just love the way that distresses. It's just like the perfect amount and it's just a natural looking distress like they're worn and I just love that look so much. I love to watch crafting videos while I craft. So if you do too, I have a mega playlist that so you might wanna check out in my description box. And now they are all done. Don't they look great with that? I just, I love that technique. Anyway, uh, now what I'm going to do is I have a little base for them. It's just a little piece from um, Dollar Tree and I'm gonna sand that down. And then I'm gonna also paint it with the Rust-Oleum Linen White chalk paint, but I'm gonna very lightly dry brush over the top. I am gonna go around the edges a teeny bit heavier, but I'm not even gonna do the bottom. You can kind of see how it looks. It's just enough. I didn't want it to be solid white like the rest. I wanted a little contrast. I'm gonna use a combination of E6000 and hot glue to go ahead and attach all three of these pieces of wood. They are now my candles, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hold it till the hot glue sets up and then I can let go and the E6000 will eventually dry. And I'm gonna do that with all three of my candle pieces. And now you can see how they look on there. I'm gonna grab some little greeneries that I got on Amazon. I'm just gonna take two pieces. They're like little evergreens. I'm gonna snip off the extra piece on the end there because I don't need that much. And I'm gonna figure out exactly how wide I want them to be by placing them up against the candles. I'm gonna get some jute twine and be ready to tie them together. Now that I have them where I want them, I'm just gonna wrap the jute twine around several times, tie a knot, wrap it again, tie another knot, and then trim off the excess pieces. I like doing that because it just holds it together and it also gives you a nice place to glue something for the center if you want to. Next, I'm gonna take my chalk paint again and I'm going to flock this greenery. I love doing this because I love that the green still pokes through, but you just get it kind of on the edges and I go all the way around every part of it. Doesn't that look pretty? Now I'm going to place it on the front of my three candles Handles right on that base and I'm going to use hot glue a lot of hot glue and then I'm going to hold it in place because sometimes if you don't with something like this it doesn't fully attach because you know the greenery is not a solid piece but there it is now I'm going to take a mop head uh, you can tell I've used this one quite a bit and I'm going to pull out a strand and then I'm going to cut three little pieces but first I'm going to hot glue kind of the pieces that are loose because I want them to stay together for this so then I'm going to cut three pieces and these are going to become my candle wicks so I'm gonna glue both ends of them, make a little point on the one end that's like the top of the flame, and then I'm going to use an Arteza paint marker. I think it's the lemon yellow paint marker. You'll see it here in a second. And I'm gonna paint most of this little candle wick with the yellow, and just a little bit on the bottom will still be white where it hasn't burned yet, if you will. There's the marker, and here I am painting right on top. I thought this was a cute way to create a flame without a flame. I'm gonna do three of these, and then I'm going to attach them directly to the top middle of each candle, like I am right here with the hot glue, and just kind of make sure they're facing upward. And then I've got my cute little candle wicks. Oh my gosh, it looks so adorable. Ignore those little ornaments on there. I took them off, I did not like it. Instead, I'm using these pine cones. I'm gonna flock them. I'm gonna put five pine cones on there, one larger one, and then a bunch of little ones around it. I wanted to keep this a little more rustic and those little ornaments just glammed it up too much. I love this one, you guys. It's very simple, not a lot of embellishments, but just enough.
my friends, I want to invite you to come with me to a crafty cruise getaway with four other channels here from YouTube where you can enjoy beaches and sand and tons and tons of crafting inspiration. This ship has so many amenities that you are going to just have a blast. Plus, you get to connect with other crafters. But here's the thing. Space is very limited. So make sure you go to craftycruisegetaway.com to get all the information that you need. Everything is linked down below in the description box. Are you ready for a very easy DIY? I've got this little, I think it's a beer flight board. I got it at um, Target Dollar Spot for $5. Took off the little leather handle or tie. And I'm gonna paint the whole thing front and back and the sides with the white chalk paint from Mustolian, the linen white. And when that is done, then I'm going to use a white hanger instead that I had left over from another project. And I'll just add that to the top. Then um, for the O, I'm going to do the word snow, I'm going to use that white piece of a snowflake and then this little wood cutout of a snowflake and then I have a little silver one and these are all different things that came from different places and I just decided to put them together and I thought that layering effect looked really, really cute. Then I have some stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to spell out the S, N, and the W but I'm going to lay some Mod Podge down first so it's a nice smooth surface. Inside those circles it was kind of rough so um, I'm just going to do that to make sure that the letters have something nice to stick to. And then I'll cover each letter with Mod Podge as well. And then to finish this off, I have two bells that I got last year from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take that little silver tie that's on each one and feed it through the hole and then tie them together. And I'm gonna hot glue them in place on the back and the front. And then I'm gonna put another one of those little white snowflakes over the back to cover up where I cut off the pieces and hot glued them down, which is a nice little finishing touch. And what a cute little snow sign with the bells. I absolutely love it. Talk about an easy DIY. excited about this project. I saw this on Pinterest and it was so cute and I thought I can do this with some Dollar Tree supplies I have. So I've got this little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Took off the tag on the back, sanded all around. It got that glitter off. Why do they put so much glitter you guys? Using my little ladybug vacuum from Amazon. Now I'm going to measure both the width and the length because I need to know how much space I've got when I make my lettering. Now I'm going to use my Kills Primer Paint in white. That's going to be my first coat and then I'm going to use my white chalk paint from Folk Art. And I'm going to go ahead and get a really nice coverage on here with one coat of that. I am going to use a very small ruler so I can draw some lines. I'm creating a cell phone. That's what I'm doing. It's meant to look like my iPhone. I'm going to tape it and use the Waverly chalk paint in black it's called ink and I'm going to draw the little camera and another little piece from the phone and then I'm going to paint the black all around those areas where I've taped it off and where I just drew those little parts. Super easy. Then I'm going to paint the sides and the back and completely cover this whole thing with the ink chalk paint. I hope you guys will come visit me on social media. The best part, tape coming off. I love that. One thing I like to do is put a decoupage or a lightweight top coat over the top of something that I'm going to place vinyl or rub on transfers or stickers on because I don't want to pull off the paint by accident. So I'm going to do that and then I decide to cover the whole thing and dry it off with my heat tool from Amazon. And then I'm going to cut my wording into each line. That way I can place it and just make sure that I have it exactly where I want. You don't have to do that. That's what I chose to do. So there I am removing the transfer tape with the letters on it now and putting it on my object and then just using my little pokey tool for weeding to pull off the transfer tape. I want the option of being able to hang this or put it on a chair tray to decorate for Christmas time. And so I'm just making this little piece of rope. I'm going to make a little loop, glue it together, and then wrap some around the bottom. And there's a hole at the top where there had been a little pumpkin stem. And I'm going to put some glue on it and place it right in there. And that's going to hold it really well. And now I've got this adorable little piece. You guys, I love Pinterest. How about you? Do you guys look at Pinterest for ideas too? And that's all there is to this one. It's done. Pretty simple. And
thank you for watching. You are truly a blessing to me. Let me know which one was your favorite today. Don't forget to check out the link for the website about the Crafty Cruise Getaway. It's down in my description box below. I know you will have so much fun and I really hope you will check it out and consider going. I've got another video on the screen that I think you'll really like. So if you click on it, I will see you there. Bye.